If you want to provide extra support for Thunder Buddy 01 Productions, become an official Thunder Buddy superfan. For just $2.99 a month, you will get access to exclusive emojis, get a cool badge next to your name, and other cool perks such as shoutouts and priority replies to your comments. Join now with the link in the top of the description. My phone is blown up as I'm watching one of Michael's videos and editing the weekly test. We gotta watch just that just got net, that just got posted. But all right, let's let's just go over something real quick. So this guy went off. The sage went off. Uh, I did not know when they were going to be issuing the watch, so I did not have the ESP one hundred uh, twenty one hundred turned on. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, five two one went off. The two six two and the three eight two, as well as the two six one, the two thousand four version didn't go off. Both of the works went off. The WS one hundred finally activated. I need to get some freaking duct tape or something for this because you saw it going off during the alert. It was just like really erectile dysfunction. Um, the Honeywell didn't go off, but it went off for the weekly test, so I'm not complaining too much. Uh, but let's go into my room real quick. So I kind of had a feeling Albany wasn't going to be testing anyway because of the of the severe weather. We are we were under an 80% convective risk for at least wash probability. Excuse me, but okay. It amazes me that the V3 finally goes off, but yet all of the other 100s started to say <laughs> like no. Um, the V16 HH finally went off. Like the the not the, the one that's like completely demolished, so to speak. Uh the zone guards didn't go off. T 
typical. The 150 went off. This guy didn't go off, even though it went off for the weekly test, but let's see. Right, all right, so now, we, so now this one has advisory and watch lit up because for some reason, I did not tell you to change colors. This guy lit up because, well, this guy now has watch and advisory lit up. How the f do I change messages? What is it? Oh. All right. Um. You. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you see the emergency light blinking. You would assume that it probably decoded the weekly test just fine. But, yeah, I don't know how the flying mother of balls you thought a freaking severe thunderstorm watch was some sort of emergency. Like, last I checked, a severe thunderstorm watch is not a freaking amber alert. I know, I know you, I know you have amber alerts set off setting off the emergency light for some freaking reason. Uh, the J-Win uh, went off as an unrecognized warning. I can bet you right now that... Okay, I was, I was pressing the enter button. I did not press the weather button. This is... I can guarantee... Yeah, it's... Mm. Not unrecognized warning. Expired. Freaking how? That was a that first of all that was a warning. That wasn't a watch. And second of all, how do you light up with a warning and then already say that it's expired? Like what? The afternoon. The vector you didn't go off for some reason, yet you went off the weekly test just fine. The vector down that alright. How much you want to bet that it probably freaking Oh, bad signal, of course. Ugh. Um. Oh yeah, and uh, keep in mind, I just fixed this. I fixed this off camera. But next thing you know, I see. <laughs> you tonight, twenty twenty one, one o three a.m. Uh, no. <sighs> This radio surprise gives me plenty of surprises. Oh look, 55! And yeah, this had it worse. It just straight up crashed like Windows Vista. So now you get to see me reapply the power and set this up again. Yay! This is already turning out to be a hell of a show, and we only just now got the watch. Uh, oh, and need I mention, Sidekick didn't didn't activate for the watch, but yet the FRX5 did. Like, ugh. this honestly surprises me.
frequent lightning is occurring. If caught on the open water, stay below deck if possible and keep away from ungrounded metal objects. Here is the forecast. Okay, if you heard me say whoa earlier, um, when National Weather Service offices put in unique wording for for warnings like this, like saying like other storms are located, uh, etc., etc., stuff like that, that honestly kind of piques my interest because it gives me the feeling that they know what's going on, along aside from the storm that they just issued the warning for. But yeah, like just but you don't get to hear that very often. They just say. Oh, a storm, thunderstorm was located near there and moving at whatever direction at whatever speed. You only really hear though that mentioned in warnings. You don't really see other stuff like that mentioned at all. And I just noticed my version 2 expired. That was the weirdest freaking... Because I know it wasn't a, a 50... I know, I know it didn't activate for a 6 hour event, but how long did it decode it for? That's what I want to know. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, fix this. I don't know what it is, but I just, I just don't like it, so to speak, when the lights are still blinking after the message ended. Like, I don't know if anyone else has this, has this uh, feeling, so to speak, but if, but if you can relate to this, definitely leave a comment below. Oh, and before the next alert comes in, I just want to give a shout out to all my uh, super fans. Uh, the, their channels will be in the top of the description or the bottom of the description, wherever it is that I decide to put it. Definitely go check them out. They are awesome supporters. So yeah, here is all the channel members that are currently subscribed as of July 21st. Uh, you can just uh, pause if you want to see if you want to focus on your on your username real quick. But these are all the channel members that are currently subscribed as of today. So, definitely subscribe to them. Their channel links will be in the description below. And with that said, hope you guys enjoy the rest of this compilation. The National Weather Service in up in New York has issued a special marine warning for Sandy Hook, New Jersey to Fire Island and let New York out 20 nautical miles until 2.30 p.m. At 1.50 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located oh. near Sandy Hook, moving east at 35 knots. Hazard, water spouts, wind gusts 34 knots or greater, and small hail. Source, radar indicated. That was lightning. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. The severe thunderstorm will be near entrance to New York Harbor around 2.10 p.m. Move to safe harbor until the hazardous weather passes. The National Weather Service has issued... Yeah, that was definitely lightning. I, I heard it through the broadcast. That did not just... That was not interference. That was definitely lightning. I have a pretty good feeling this is going to be a little bit more intense than it normally is. I don't know how you turned on, whatever. And I did not even get a notification for this. Okay, either I was just blind or I didn't, or my phone decided not to notify me.
added the spark. Alright, so I heard all my radios exploding. I thought Fairfield was going to be under this. I did not think it was going to be Middlesex and New Haven. But, either way, I just had my first radio explosion that wasn't from a weekly test in a while, I believe. It's nice to see the version 2 went off. I don't know why the others haven't gone off at all, but... Eh, that's, I'll worry about that later. Lines at 10 knots. Waves one foot or less. That just has a wonky tuner. It's not going bad, knock on wood, wherever there is one. Wood. But. <sighs> Alright, let's see how the rest of this event unfolds. And of course you didn't go off. <sighs> Nautical miles. Some. Alright. Work your magic. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a special marine warning for coastal and outer waters from Sandy Hook to Little Lake in Lent, New Jersey until 3.45 p.m. At 2.09 p.m., Severe thunderstorms were located along a broken line extending from near Axel Carlson Reef to near Barnegat Lake Reef to near Garden State North Reef to near Beach Haven, moving east at 20 knots. Hazard, wind gusts to around 40 knots and large hail. Oh, gee. Source, radar. Impact, small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Large hail could result in structural damage. Locations impacted include Ship Bottom, Barnegat Lake Reef, Garden State South Reef, Axel Carlson Reef, Harvey Cedars, Ford River, La Valette, Beach Haven, Barnegat Light, North Beach Haven, Garden State North Reef, Shark River Reef, Point Pleasant Beach, Seaside Park, and Manasquat Inlet. Frequent lightning is occurring with these storms. If caught on the open water, stay below deck if possible and keep away from ungrounded metal objects. Keep getting blasted without little with little to no notification whatsoever. I just want to thank IEM Bob for that. <sighs> Either way, version three went off finally. The version two went off. Neither of the version ones went off, which kind of sucks. 
but yeah. fading now but as you can tell by the lighting in my room it's not completely dark and lit up with red everywhere but uh yeah sun is out still the weather event's definitely not over because quite honestly if it busts I'm gonna scream because I haven't had much events like this in a while aside from June 9 is 12 and 11 and I kind of want an event like this just not without like the uh the deaths please because i am not spc brentwood tennessee 615. i can guarantee this marine warrior will set everybody off see that the alert works radios are still on. Yep. And the ESP2100 as well. Alright, nothing else came in.
The severe thunderstorm will remain over open waters. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. Frequent lightning is occurring with this storm. If caught on the open water, stay below deck if possible. Keep away from ungrounded metal objects. The National Weather Service in Upton, New York has issued a special... Alright, so why don't we just throw something out there right now. Um, so, as you know, KW-035 served that marine zone that was just put, that was that was just placed under a warning. You want to know of another station that say that served by that? You want to know of another station that serves that marine zone? A.M. Thursday. High tide is at 8:23 a.m. Thursday. You are listening to NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards, the voice of the National Weather Service, on station WXM60 from Southard, Howell Township, New Jersey, on a frequency of 162.45 megahertz, with a power of 300 watts. This programming originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Mount Holly, New Jersey. Who seem to can't get their sh- The station provides seven-day generalized public forecasts for East Central New Jersey, marine forecasts for the New Jersey and the nearby Long Island coastal waters, as well as hourly weather observations for the region, continuously, 24 hours a day. Specific area message encoder, or same, tones will be sent for short fused warnings affecting the following New Jersey counties, Burlington, Mercer, Middlesex, Monmouth, Ocean, Somerset, and Union. Warning tones will also be issued for special marine warnings for the Raritan Bay, and along the Atlantic coast between Sandy Hook and Little Lake Inlet, New Jersey. Test of the no weather radio all hazards warning alarm are conducted each Wednesday, between 11 a.m. and noon. However, if severe weather is possible during the normal test time, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. If you wish to contact the National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey, you can call between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. seven days a week at 609-261-6615 and choose option 2. Thank you for listening to NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards. This is NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards for East Central New Jersey. Station WXM60 from Southard, Howell Township, on a frequency of 162.45 megahertz. Here is the regional weather forecast for Central New Jersey, rest of today. Yeah, they haven't been relaying. What was that? What was that? No. So, they haven't been relaying anything from Mount Holly. KW35 has been, pretty much been picking up the work for them. Like, pretty much from... Uh, what's the what's the New Jersey county they serve? Uh, from Sussex County south to Monmouth. They don't serve Burlington, and they don't serve Ocean, Noah. And they also, they've also been picking up WXM60 slack, pretty much, from Sandy Hook to Little Egg Inlet, because... As you know, KW35 serves Sandy Hook, New Jersey, to, to, to Manasquan Inlet, New Jersey, then from Manasquan Inlet to Little Egg Inlet. For some reason, I did not ask you to turn on Siri. For some reason, WXM60, along with every single freaking Mount Holly station, has not been relaying any warnings whatsoever. I've been listening to the WXM60 stream the entire time that this, that, that warning was being aired over KW35, and nothing happened. Yeah. The voice of the National Weather Service, when it f- Oh, my God. 
on the V1 and it's a proper one too nice taking a picture of that that is that is definitely capture worthy now if only the rest of the 100s would actually go off at the same time that would be amazing when WXM60 is just noping out of everything. Okay, I saw Mount Holly light up for Manasquan Inlet's a little leg inlet, and there goes KW35. Sandy Hook was under that, but all right.
I still don't know when the heck Upton started putting the offshore marine zones into into washes like that. Like, okay, you know what? Maybe not offshore. That's that's like Montauk to Sandy Hook to 1,000 fathoms. This is this is uh this is more like open water zones. I don't know when Upton started including that, but that's been throwing me off a bit, admittedly. And this is weird. Why aren't you going off? More internet sources from the latest severe weather information. Coastal waters forecast from March is in the really? point in the town 20 nautical miles. Severe weather storm more than 385 minutes at 8 p.m. this evening. For this afternoon, west winds around 5 knots. That's the one thing I freaking hate about radio sometimes. You can have the you can have absolutely perfect reception when you're holding the antenna. The next thing you know, as soon as you let go, it's like Now got the notification, and you're all. Dee, 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 dee. 